So that's how you make a um, Amy with just a normal carbon chain. What we're going to look at now is how we make phenylamine. What do we reckon phenylamine is? Phenol and an amine. Well, a phenyl group, which is that, and an amine group. So he's that guy there. Oh, close. Well, is that not what I said? Well, you were kind of talking more like phenol with the OH group. But yeah. I don't really know what they are. No, going well. <laughs> Right, so how would I make that? Well, you start from nitrobenzene. Oh no. And you react it, I'm going to put this over the arrow, with tin and concentrated HCl, and you need to reflux. That's a reduction reaction. Because it's a reduction, how do I represent the tin and the HCl? Here. Square bracket. H. Yep. And I actually need six of those. That makes phenylamine. Wait, is it NO2? Where's NO2? Yeah. What's that there? Tin. And two H two O. So this is nitrobenzene. Then you just put tin in concentrated HCl reflux to make phenylamine and water. So, what do we use phenylamine for? One of the main things is to make an azo dyes. Azo dyes are very, very stable dyes, and we wouldn't have all the wonderful colours of clothes that we have with our azo dyes. So, how do we do it? Well, we start with phenylamine. And we react it with something called nitrous acid. Nitrous acid, acid is HNO2. Remember nitrous, not nitric. That is very unstable. You can't go and get that. You can't buy it it decomposes. So you make it in situ, which means we make it in the reaction and it reacts straight away. So I make it by adding in sodium nitrite, NaNO2, plus HCl, and I need two of those. And it cool makes this in situ acid. This has to be done below 10 degrees C, because everything is really unstable. And you're gonna do this next week. We could do it in the school then, couldn't we? Yeah, that's true. We're doing it on Wednesday. We're doing it on Wednesday, yeah. That makes this Mega molecule, which is a diazonium salt. Plus 2HCl plus NaCl. Yes, it's an ionic bond there. Things to note the positive charge is on that nitrogen there. If you stick it on the other one, you lose the mark. Is that a triple bond? That is a triple bond. Crazy. Wow. This decomposes if it gets too hot, and you would see bubbles appear. What do you reckon those bubbles would be? Hydrogen. Nitrogen. Nitrogen, yeah. Because you've got nitrogen there. Yay, nitrogen gas, off he goes. Really, really <laughs> unstable. Got to keep it cold. When you do it next week, if it gets too hot, it will go. So, you use that straight away. You take your diazonium salt and you react it with phenol. So I'm going to take that diazonium salt. That's the guy that does the business, but I'll put CL. You add it to phenol or some type of phenol, 
and you have to do it in alkaline solution. So you need some sodium hydroxide knocking around. So plus NaOH. And that gives this amazing molecule, which is two benzene rings joined by a nitrogen group. <laughs> so are you going to make this? Yeah, you're going to make something similar. Plus NaCl and H2O. I hate benzene. Oh, got benzene test next week. It's a double bond, yeah. yeah. He's bridging those molecules. I just hate drawing it. It always kind of looks... It just looks so 